So today I'm going to be taking a first look at the Brooks Caldera 5s. If you want the technical spec of these shoes, then I've put it down below in the description. Box is pretty nice to start with, so even if the shoes aren't any good, top marks on the box. Uh, they've got some runners there printed along the side and also there too. I got these from my local run shop, by the way, run company, my local independent. Um, and they were great in there, really, really good in terms of the advice they gave and also in terms of let me try on a range of shoes and using them on the treadmill so I could just get a feel for what they were like. I'll put up the other shoes that I was considering just in, a, in an image here so you can see what they were. So there was four different shoes I tried on in total, including the Caldera 5s. The main reason I didn't go for any of the other three pairs on my shortlist at the running shop was because they were either too narrow or didn't have enough cushioning or just didn't feel right as I used them on the treadmill. And that's not to say that the Caldera 5s are better than all those other pairs of shoes. It might be that someone else tried on all of those shoes and they thought that the Salomons was best for them. So it really depends on your foot, what you want, um, and also what you prefer in terms of feel from a running shoe. But the main thing that I was looking for was width firstly, and also a kind of workhorse shoe, something that was gonna do well with serious mileage. Um, and that's because I'm working towards a 50 miler next year. So I wanted something that's gonna be good for upping the mileage in my training and, and something that will provide cushioning over long distance. So that's why I went for these in the end. So let's have a look at them. So there they are. I went for them in blue. I thought that was the nicest color. Uh, there was a red option and there was also a black option too, but I thought these ones were the, the nicest out of them, quite bold. Um, the first thing I noticed when I saw this shoe in comparison to the others, so when the guy at the shop brought these out, uh, I thought they looked like some kind of uh, freak alien shoe, I suppose, because they were just so massive. I hadn't seen um, a shoe like this before. Um, those of you who might be used to running in something like uh, Hoka's, you, you know, probably more used to a, a sole like this, but the stack height is pretty big. So that was one of the first things I noticed. The reason why I went for these at the end was because they've got really good cushioning firstly around the, the heel. So it's really nice and plush around there. Um, aside from that, they've also got, like I said, the the decent cushioning on here. So when I put my feet in these in the shops, they really fitted like a glove. So it felt like it was really supporting my foot. Um, and that's something I'm particularly conscious of because I had a, an injury a couple of years ago and, and that was on my ankle. So to have ankle support is really crucial for me. The other thing I really like about this shoe is that you've got this layer around the upper which is able to keep out water. So it's not a waterproof shoe, it's not Gore-Tex, but you've got this bit here, which means that you know if you're running through puddles and they're kind of splashing up, that at least it keeps the water out of that part of the shoe. So that was something I also liked. Aside from that, the other thing it's got in terms of water resistance is the potential to attach a gaiter. So there's a little attachment just here, which you can fix it onto, and also one at the back, which has a bit of Velcro on it. Then lug pattern on the bottom, they're not the most aggressive lugs, so you can see the height of them there. But they've got lugs going in both directions, so good for grip going uphill and then also going downhill too. So the other thing I noticed about the Caldera 5s is how sticky the grip seems. I haven't tried them outside yet, but on my kitchen floor, you can hear the stickiness of the grip, so I have to try that out on the trails as well, see how it is. So let's take them out and see how they are for the first run. So I got the shoes on and they've got a nice feel overall. Good bit of room in the toe box. Feels like there's enough space, but not so cavernous that your toes are gonna get lost in there. And feels pretty well cushioned round the ankle. I've decided to use the, the top eyelet here for the laces to make it extra fitted round my foot as well. And I'm gonna be running along the cliff path just over here to test them out. So I 
initial thoughts after a couple of miles, cushioning is superb, really nice. Just feels like you're running on pillows really. So very cushioned and I'm trying it on grass at the moment, but I have been going over some rockier stuff too. So very good for cushioning firstly. The true test will really be doing a longer run, you know, something like 20 miles or above just to really see how they fare over longer distance. But if I compare them to my other trail shoes, just really nicely cushioned, foot feels well supported. And in terms of stack height, we'll just let this go by, tractor there. In terms of stack height, that's something I need to get used to. So I do feel higher up. However, my concern was I might feel a bit unstable because of that, but I don't and I'm, running on some quite uneven terrain here so there's some paths that are kind of rocky little stones but seems to be coping quite well with those and in terms of trying out hills with them too, hills are much more of a breeze. Usually going up that hill, feels like my feet are being pounded a little bit. But going up in the Caldera 5s, feel much more cushioned, it's much easier. One possible thing to think about with the Caldera 5s is breathability. So I can notice they're not quite as breathable as some other road and trail shoes that I've got so something worth bearing in mind I mean today it's about 22 degrees fairly warm and my feet don't feel at this point like they're overheating but I can just sense that they're not quite as air conditioned in there as with some of my other shoes so maybe over longer distance and in heat with the Caldera 5s your foot could get a little bit hot and that's probably because of the overlays and also that kind of waterproof partial overlay they've put around the toe box. So those are my initial thoughts on the Caldera 5s. Overall cushioning really impressive, uh, grip super as well and just the key things to think about with them, getting used to the stack height, particularly if you're not used to a high stack height of running shoe already and the other thing to think about breathability so they might not be quite as breathable as some of the other trail shoes out there on the market but overall i'm really pleased with them so i'll check back in with you later on when i've done at least a couple of hundred miles in these and then i can share some more detailed reflections on how they've done and what i make of them as a trail shoe so thanks for watching hope you found that useful if you're new to the channel then do consider subscribing and feel free to check out my other reviews and videos about training and race stuff.